the next question that comes to mind then is, let's say we were to remove the logic games section in our ideal modified LSAT for, mm -hmm. test form, what might we add instead if we added anything? So let's say we had two logical reasoning sections and a reading comp section. Would you add more logical reasoning or something else altogether? That's a great question. I've, I've never even considered that. Excellent question. What do you think? What would yeah, you, uh, what would you add? I putting it back on me. <laughs> I don't necessarily know either, but I, I just think it's, it's fun to speculate about it a little bit. I'm thinking back to pre-1991. If you've seen those old LSAT items before the modern formation of the LSAT, they have this huge PDF. It's called something like a, a compendium of every type of LSAT question from 1948 to 1991. And they had general knowledge questions. They had sort of questions you might see on an IQ test with patterns. Right. And that, that sort of thing or rearranging letters to make different words and stuff like that. And I don't know how valid that was, right? You know, there, you know, you see like in other countries, the common law admission test, like in India and the UK, I think in those, those exams, they have just random geography questions or capitals mm -hmm. of nations and things like that. <laughs> I'm sure you select for something if you test for that. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure that those you probably can select for people who um, went to certain schools and grew up in certain households. Uh, if, you, if you test general knowledge rather than some kind of uh, more abstract ability as LR tests, although that probably doesn't fix it. That is to say, I'm sure that almost nothing correlates as strongly with LSAT scores as family income or, or you know, et cetera, et cetera, all the other things that people point to as uh, evils of standardized tests. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.